Seven years ago, on this field, the Patriots lost a chance for an undefeated season. This time, Bill Belichick wasn't asking his players to be perfect. He just wanted them to do their job. There's no mystery here, fellas. It's trusting each other and everybody doing their job. And maybe the one word that isn't in that uh, sentence that's implied but not stated is, um, do your job well. Take care of the one or two, three things that we've emphasized all week, you know, we'll be okay. Our main focus was to keep Wilson in the pocket, not letting him run and make plays with his feet. Make sure we do our job on Wilson. Whether it be running or extending plays, make him throw, you know, from the well with guys around him. Something we preach, something we work really hard at doing. We had a day in practice down there at Arizona where we, gosh, I, yeah, I thought we were going to have to throw IVs at, at a bunch of the guys. We brought a couple backup quarterbacks down there to just run around and work on not allowing him to reverse field and change direction. Making sure we're not, you know, past the quarterback. We got to keep him in front of us. We don't want him to rush timid or slow. We want him to be able to rush, but they have to be able to rush controlled and with the understanding that at some point this play turns into a run. <laughs> And then he's hopping, doesn't really know where to go, no clean read. Good hands, good leverage, good pad level, good job on the quarterback. In the first half, Russell Wilson completed just four passes and ran for only 39 yards in the game. As far as the Patriots' offensive game plan, there were three points of emphasis. Number one, offensively, we had the block a fabulous player, Ben, at number 72. The truth is, we didn't really block him all day. Tom just did a great job getting rid of the ball. The only guy that's giving us any trouble is 72. Nobody's been able to block Michael Bennett all night. Good hit, 72. Number two, don't run vertical routes, run moving routes, crossing routes. Well, let me get quick on you force their defense to cover our quickness. Patriots using those quick wide receivers and just trying to find a way to run between defenders. Brandy has blood to his left to play fake to Quick throw. Underneath, touchdown Patriots! Yeah! And three, recognize the difference between man and zone. Whether that's by formation or by motion or pre-snap read, whatever it is. The best example of that came in the Patriots' final drive of the first half, when they devised a way to isolate Rob Gronkowski. They had played a few snaps in that drive of man coverage, and because they had done that a few times, we called a play we use in two minutes. Gun trigger left wide. But we just did it from a formation that put Gronkowski by himself. Yeah, single, ready? You gotta go. You know, it's one of those things where you're rolling the dice. I hope they play man coverage. Right flexed out to the near side right. Now, if they didn't play man coverage, it was going to be Sherman over there on him, and the ball would have probably gone somewhere else. When we broke the huddle and Sherman came over to the other side of the field and right walked out on him, I think everybody on our side, I knew where the ball was going to go. He lobs it to the right side for Gronkowski. Has a step, has a touchdown. A linebacker, bump and run on a six foot six tight end. All day long, baby. Wiggling is back in the lead. But the lead wouldn't last. And in the fourth quarter, the Patriots trailed by 10 points. Hey, we've been in worse situations than this, huh? Come on now. I never worry, because we have Tom Brady, the ninja. Bottom line is, you give him time, he'll make things happen. Nobody's better. Lead us, baby. Let's go. go. Shotgun snap to Tom. Play fake to Blunt. Shuffles left. Fires back in the end zone. Touchdown, New England! Danny Amendola! A fight! That's what makes you guys what you are. A continuous fight. Keep going. We got a lot of football to play. All right? You guys are making plays because you're giving them a chance. The Patriots had a great chance to score on the play prior to Danny Amendola's touchdown. Watch this one in. Stop on a dime, back out, could not be more wide open, and Brady missed the throw. You know, Joel's had him, and Tommy just missed it. 
you know, we scored, came to the sideline. I think everybody felt the same way. Let's call that again, you know. Yeah, Tommy definitely said, hey, come back to that. Great call. Come back to that again. Tom Brady and the Patriots looking for a fourth quarter drive to take the lead here at Super Bowl 49. Hey, we need a big championship drive. That's what we need. In a quarter in which he completed 13 of 15 passes for 124 yards, Brady's final throw came on a play he had already run. Tom short drop, looks left, throws for Edelman, touchdown! Worked brilliantly before, Brady missed the pass, come right back to it, and Edelman gets it done. But it was a play he and his teammates had never practiced. That play was put in the night before in a ballroom in a walkthrough setting. Hey, what up, buddy? How's everything? Good, you? Sometimes what we do is if we're going to add something on a Saturday night, we don't even make a big deal out of it. We say, hey, guys, you know, we're going to add this, and our guys are tremendous. They don't flinch. Just, okay, you got it. Having the courage to draw up a play at the 11th hour might win you the Super Bowl. But as the Patriots know all too well, it's the plays no one could ever imagine that can lose you one. Russell in the pocket. Russell for Curse, and it's broken up again. And oh, did he wind up with a football? I saw the ball go up. I thought Malcolm deflected it, and it was incomplete. That was my first reaction. I see it batted, and I feel great. Boom, it got knocked up. And then I look, and I don't see the ball bouncing around on the ground, and I think, did he just catch that? He caught it! He caught it! He caught the ball! Unreal! A catch by Curse on the carom! Well, the ball knocked away by Butler! Man. When the Curse catch happened, down the same end of the field where the Tyree catch happened. It was history, unfortunately, appears to be repeating itself. Yeah, here we go again. Here we go again. In this place again. Your heart stopped. I can't believe this. Holy crap, like that actually happened? Can you believe this? I just said, oh, we have no effing luck. And at that point, you're really hoping, Tom, I think, said it, you know, defense got to make a play. He's got to make a play. 